every place needs a place where its citizens can gather together. I think that the Arts Centre has done that really, really well in the last 30 years. It's what every community needs. I think this is going to bring a lot of change in the culture of the Gold Coast. Any great city has a culture centre and today you'll see the demolition, which is the start of this three-stage culture precinct. The Gold Coast has a tradition of renewal which over the last 50 years has seen many sites renewed several times. Embracing the past and celebrating the future. There is no other city and no other council investing in arts and culture and infrastructure the way that the Gold Coast is. This is the real sign of the Gold Coast growing up as a city. This has been a massive social investment, but it's also reaped economic dividends. A lot of people have had opportunity to work on here, apprentices, cadets, trainees. Up to date, uh, we've inducted 1,515 workers. We've got driven piles, 15 to 25 metres for the shade structure. There are going to be unexpected benefits of having the culture precinct in the Gold Coast. Not just for the younger generation, for families, for friends who just wants to come together, witness live shows. This whole precinct had its beginnings in an international design competition. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity for the city. It's next level of city development that people probably never expected the Gold Coast would get to. People call this an amphitheatre, but in truth it's a versatile outdoor space. This venue is incredibly flexible. It can be open both sides, you can play on the top of it, but also when you close the doors we have an absolutely brilliant contemporary black box theatre. The cultural heart of Australia's Gold Coast is about to be transformed. It's like no other venue in the world. This is an amphitheatre which will cater for, for shows up to 5,000 people. You can perform to an intimate crowd, hold functions and events for up to 400 people. It's not just for performance, activities will occur here, even non-performing days. There's an adventure trail which is like a walking trail over the stage. A living green roof which is a representation of the mountain heath uh, of the hinterland. Now that the first stage is complete, momentum behind this project is unstoppable. Post-Commonwealth Games will get to work constructing our new green bridge from Chevron Island right here to the precinct. We're on now to build a magnificent new art gallery and green bridge, all to be done by 2020. There is so much to look forward to. We are going to get people who come here precisely because of the cultural offer, and that's something that we've been missing out on, a different kind of tourist. I think it's a 10-year project, you know, I'd like to bring my grandkids here.